So now that we've seen here what the offense can and can't do before the snap, let's look at how are they allowed to move their players around before the snap and why would they even want to do that uh, in the first place? Why would they want to move their players? So just like the offense, they're lining up in a certain formation. The defense, uh, who's trying to stop them, will be doing the same thing. Uh, and so the defense has more leeway because they don't have uh, requirements like the offense has to have seven guys on the line. Um, the defensive players, they can move wherever they want to they can stand wherever they want to as you can see they can crouch down they can stand up um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they don't know exactly what they're going to be doing so the defense is very uh, has put in the same amount of preparation as the offense and they know what which guys uh, they're going to cover so maybe this guy's trying to stop this guy um, maybe this lineman he's going to come around the outside maybe or other players maybe will try to come on the inside it all depends on the defense's uh, plan before the game so when the offense lines up and they might recognize a, what that the defense is standing in a certain way so they can do what is called an audible so let's and, and an audible An audible is just means that that offensive team will be changing the play. So before the play, they'll all line up, uh, or they'll all gather around in their huddle, and they'll call out a play. But then once they get up to the line, they can call an audible, which just means that they are going to then change that play. So. There's one quarterback who's he's really well known for this in the NFL named Peyton Manning. And so he's famous over the past decade or so. He will watch some, all of the tape um, of the defensive team during that week. And then he, he can recognize as soon as he gets out on the field what the defense is going to do. And so that will allow him to audible to try to help his team gain more yards. So... So the offense, they'll get up to the line, and a lot of quarterbacks do it, but uh, we'll just use Peyton as an example. And so he'll look around, and he'll see if he sees something that he recognizes. And if he does, then he'll call an audible. But obviously, he can't just yell out, some, you know, hey, we're going to run the ball now instead of pass it like before. So, or, because obviously the defense would hear him, and they would know exactly what he's doing. So he would use... Um, certain code words or signals that the offense would know and so once they would hear that um, they'll know that the play has been changed or the play hasn't been changed you obviously you wouldn't only want to yell these codes out whenever you're going to change the play maybe you could run yell them out when you're not going to change the play and then that would confuse the defense as to what the codes are or what they aren't and so sometimes these codes and, and calling it audible will involve changing the formation. Um, so the rules allow this, and they say that the players are allowed to shift, but what they have to do is they must come to a complete stop um, in a set position simultaneously for at least one second before that ball is snapped. So that is this um, complete stop that those players must come to. So there's really um, two different ways uh, to look at as far as pre-snap movement uh, is talking about. And the, so the first one is a shift. And then that's the second one would be to send a man in motion. In motion or just uh, motion. So these are the two different uh, ways the guys are allowed to move. So a shift would be where multiple guys are moving. So this will be multiple players, multiple players moving. Um, so maybe the quarterback uh, gets up to the line and he sees that instead of having his tight end or his, and his wide receiver on the, the right side of the field, maybe he thinks they should be over on the left. So 
Peyton would he would probably step back and he would say um, green 42 or whatever uh, the, the audible call would be and so then his players would hear that his tight end he would run over to the other side of the field and at the same time his running back or his wide receiver would run over the other side of the field as well so then once those players then uh, move to the other side of the field they would have to come to that complete stop where they stop for a second um, and so then they the team would then have a few options they could shift again so they could send the players back to the other side of the field if they wanted to or they could just snap the ball or they could uh, send the man in motion and so first of all the shift they have to come to the complete stop and that's for all of the players involved have to come to that complete stop uh, before snapping that the ball whereas sending a man in motion this is only allows for one player at a time um, so maybe just a just the wide receiver will go in motion so he'll run across to the other side and remember he's got to stay up if he's he's on the line before he starts he's gonna have to come over here and make sure they still have those uh, seven guys on that line so if the man goes in motion uh, it's one player at a time but unlike shifting if you send a one man in motion he does not have to come to a complete stop so the ball can can be snapped can be snapped while the player is in motion and so really the only other stipulation about a player going in motion is that he cannot be moving toward the line of scrimmage so as I just demonstrated there he can he can run across and so they say he can be running away from or parallel to the line of scrimmage but he cannot um, he cannot run back here and then the team says that they're they're putting him in motion and so he's gonna get a, a running start and whenever he's right here they snap the ball and so he can continue on they you, you are not allowed to do that in the NFL in some other leagues like the the arena football league you are allowed to do that and that would certainly put the the defender at at disadvantage because this receiver would already have a running head start but as far as the NFL goes you are not allowed to do that you aren't allowed to uh, move toward the line of scrimmage while you are in motion so once that player goes in motion runs to the other side of the field and he stops then because it's one player at a time another player is allowed to go in motion so shift multiple guys are moving but then you have to come to that stop after motion just one player at a time uh, but you can shift and you can send as many guys in motion before the snap as you can but remember that we had that play clock that's ticking down so you probably won't have a lot of time to to be shifting and sending guys in motion all over the place um, so you you rarely see that much pre-snap movement but as far as shifting sending guys in motion and what you have to and what you cannot do before the snap that pretty much uh, sums it all up right there